shit. Man, man, stop. Black people. I'm at the laundromat. <laughs> I just scored another point for you guys. Just scored another point for the race. Y'all owe me, okay? Let me tell you why. There's an Indian guy. Let me show you. What is it? What is this? I get it out of the way. Yeah, cool. There he is. There's the guy down there. He's a guy. All right, I think he owns the place. I don't know his name yet. <clears throat> but he come down here to my section. I'm at the laundromat, in case y'all don't know. Y'all can't tell. I'm at the laundromat. See the dryers. See the wash machines. All right, I'm at the laundromat. Okay. Down the street from where we live. And, you know, we done done our laundry, bundle of laundry and everything. But... He came down here, he was he was highly impressed with the fact that my kids knew how to fold laundry. Look at Zion. Look at Zion go to work. Boy done did all this by himself. How many of your lazy, fat ass kids can do this? Zion, you've been doing this how long, man? Uh, ten years. Ten years? Eleven? How old is he? You thirteen, you're thirteen, so you've been doing it for eleven. So you've been doing it since you was two. Huh? He's turning 14. I said since three. Well, I wasn't there when you were three, man. But anyway, yeah, look at Zion Gold, man. He's folding clothes, folding laundry. And see, not a lot of you won't. There's Arius over there. See, Arius is already finished. Where, his, where your clothes at, Arius? Right there. Oh, hell no. You know what? No, get, get up, boy, and fold that. Them pants look ridiculous. Get up and fold them daggone pants right there. You ain't done. Yeah, look how Zion's looking all neat and stuff pretty. You just threw your stuff together. Being lazy on people. All right. So anyway, back, back to the point. Okay. Take you on a little tour around the place, cause Shane is in here too. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Do it right, boy. All right. Here we go. Oh, excuse me. See, there she is. There she is, right there. Because she's finished with her laundry. She's over here watching cartoons. All right, so she's finished with hers. I had to get out of there because it was kind of noisy. But listen, why do you owe me? Let me tell you why. Because I just redeemed the race. You know why? You know how? Let me say, you know how? Because I got a 13-year-old and a 12-year-old in there folding laundry. The Indian dude was impressed. He was telling me that even his own son wouldn't dare do the laundry. I'm like, why not? I mean, you know, you're washing it for him. He needs to take in learning the responsibility and how to do things. When is he going to learn? When he turns 18? When he moves out the house? Huh? Because nobody's really going to require that of him. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to send our kids out here into the world thinking they're supposed to come down. Like your adult manual gets downloaded into your brain when you're 18. That doesn't happen. It happens from childhood onward. You know, you got to train these kids up now, man. You don't wait until they get old enough, and then they don't feel like doing anything because they've been lazy all their adolescent years. <clears throat> so imagine how this Indian man felt when he saw my black kids folding laundry. Okay, well, maybe, you know, I, I started thinking about it. Well, maybe he's thinking, you know, hell, we're going to be wealthy enough to where we never have to fold our own laundry anyway, you know? And maybe we could hire somebody to do that. I think that's the wrong kind, type of attitude to take. Even if you are, if you, if you, even if you do come on from running them races where, you know, um, they got their stuff together, they got wealth and whatnot and all that kind of stuff, it's still important for a man to be self-sufficient. Not always depend on money and finances or somebody else to do what he should innately know how to do. I'm like, you can start your kids. My kids have been folding laundry since they were three years old. Three. One, two, three. <clears throat> I'm like this. My philosophy has always been, if you, if you can fold a paper airplane, you can fold a damn shirt, okay? And a pants, pair of pants, the way I teach my kids how to fold a pair of pants is two folds, over and then over again. <clears throat> That's it. And it's just as easy to put things on a hanger. So what's the excuse? What's the excuse, black people? There's a lot of things our ch we are not demanding from our children that we should be demanding from our children. And our children are growing up handicapped invalids as a result of it. We need to contribute to the race. We need to teach them what we know. 
All right, I, you know, I, this is a long rant over some damn laundry, but I think it's a valuable point that we all need to address because um, our children are getting involved in all sorts of mayhem and ridiculous activity. When if we, if they were responsible for the things they could be responsible for or capable of doing, they could become quite efficient at it by the time they're an adult. And not only that, but it would keep them off the street, keep them involved, keep them out of some of these dumb activities that are doing nothing but ruining them and destroying them. And so that's why you owe me a point. You owe me. Because I redeemed us today. I redeemed us. When that man, another race, saw that our people, there's still some good left in us. All right? You're welcome.